Okay, let's mix this up a little bit and look at a, a, a little bit different kind of problem. Let's say that x is a normally distributed random variable uh, with mean of 10 and a standard deviation of 2. Now, what we want to do is find the probability, or well, we know what the probability that x is greater than some value, little x. We know that probability is 0.95, okay? So we know the probability, but we don't know this value of x, okay? So we're saying this, here's a value x, uh, here the mean is 10, standard deviation is 2, and we want to know um, what's the probability that, or we know the probability, probability of, um, little, uh, of x being greater than little x is 0.95, okay? So we just need to find what's this va value of x on the, uh, on the horizontal axis. Okay, above what value of x is the probability 0.95? Okay, well, we can convert this to a standard normal distribution. Convert this value of x down here to something. And we can go find what this area might be. Okay, so the probability that uh, x is greater than x is equal to 0.95 that's a probability that this z value is greater than some little value z um, equal to 0.95. So if we find this value, we can convert using the z-score to this value, okay? So we need a z-table to look up this area. And how do we do something like that? Well, we know this, that uh, between 0 and some value z is... 0.45, okay? This area down here, 0.95, or 0.5, right here. This area, 0.5. Half the distribution, 0.5. This value here, 0.45. So if we go look up this area in the Z table, we can find the associated value of Z here, okay? So if we go look up uh, this value here, we're looking this up in the intersections, okay? Remember how the z-table is constructed. We've got the ones and the tenths space on the, uh, in the rows, and we've got the hundredths space of the z-value in the columns. And if, whenever we uh, find the intersection of those two, that gives us a probability. Well, what we have is the probability, and we need to go out and find the value of z, okay? So we have the intersection. We need to find the row and the column associated with that intersection. So if you go look up in the, uh, in the space of the table, uh, the z-table, you'll find two different values. One is 0.4495 and one is 0.4505, okay? Those are the closest two values to 0.45. And in fact, 0.45 is exactly in the middle, okay? Uh, this value here is associated with 1.64. This value here is associated with 1.65. So that what I'm saying here is the row 1.6, the column 0.05 has this in the intersection. We want something in between those. So let's just assume that this value of z is 1.645. That is this value of z right here, 1.645, associated with 0.45 between zero and z. Okay, that must mean this value down here is negative 1.645, okay? The probability that the random variable z takes on a value greater than negative 1.645 is 0.95, okay? So now we have our value of z associated with this probability. We just need to use the z-score and calculate backward, okay? So z is equal to uh, x minus mu over sigma. That is negative uh, 1.645 is equal to x, the thing we need to solve for, minus 10 over 2. Okay, so if we solve for x, that is multiply by 2 over here, add 10, we should get that x is 6.71. Okay, the value of x right here on this axis 6.71. The probability that x is greater than 6.71 is 0.95.
95% of observations of X lie above 6.71.